Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're back to a favourite of mine, MATLAB, not image processing, but we're looking at Google Earth. So we want to export the counter plot to Google Earth uh, from MATLAB. So there's myself, uh, Anselm Griffin, and we're on video number 229 in my YouTube. So we look at this in more detail. The work is not my own. There are three people to give the credit to. Um, the chap called Sean here, uh, he came up with the idea. He used a function from Dwayne Hanselman uh, called Contour Data. And this is how to install um, Google Earth Pro. So there are some steps. Download the, write the script. Download the file from Dwayne Hanselman. Install Google Earth Pro. Run and create run the script to create the KML file and double click in the KML file and see the contour data. Okay, so that's a little presentation. Now, just before we do anything, sorry about this. Here we are in MATLAB. Now here I'm in the my directory is eco and MATLAB and I just called the subdirectory Google Earth. This is the file I call the script here contour data we look at this actual details of the script in a minute or two so th there's the contour data i downloaded a function called contour data dot m that's from professor hanselman and that's also in the same directory so and also because um i'm in this that's my present working directory later on down here I'm writing the file here, and that will go into the same directory here, e colon matlab slash Google Earth. So the important thing is that the script and the function that you download from Dwayne Hanselman must be in the same directory, and that same directory is the present working directory. Okay, now I publish that file, and there it is. So let's have a look. So, oh, just before we do before we do that, sorry for flicking. Um, that's where I got the idea, pick of the week. Uh, Sean Dowalski came up with it. Okay. And we're using this function contour date, so I can close that down. Uh, there's the function contour data written by Professor Hanselman. It's there. So you download that. And as I said before, make sure it's in the same directory as the script. Uh, you need to download Google Earth Pro. Um, so you do that. And you need to also launch Earth in Chrome to get the whole thing to work. Okay, so I can shut that down. Uh, Google Earth is running there, it's running there, it's running there. Hopefully this will all work for me later on. And that's Sean Dowalski's um, bit of work there. So hopefully the YouTube video will give you, dare I say it, a slightly better way, or a slightly better understanding of how to get the thing to work. So there we are. So I've given the IP the intellectual uh, properties. I've attributed that. And here we go. So as before, we just tidy the workspace, close any open figures, etc., etc. Now, I've used the same, the number of peaks is 50. That's okay. And I've used the latitude and longitude as suggested by Sean in that thing so you're going to get new england so you're going to get maine new hampshire all that sort of things you're going to create contours there you call the function that you downloaded from the matlab central file exchange called contour data cs then will be a struct it will have the number of levels, the number of elements, the x out of the y data, and is open, which is illogical. logical. 
So you have cs dot level, cs dot number of elements, cs dot x data, cs dot y data, and cs dot is open. We're going to rename then as lat or longitude, lat or long or latitude or longitude, and then we're going to remove here on this line here. We're going to remove from the structure the x data and y data. Remember they're called cs dot lat and cs dot long. They're not gone. We just renamed them. And you just want to dump them because you only want one set of the X data and Y data there. You have to create a shape vector of the struct. And we do that by using the command GeoShape. Then we just d dig out the unique levels in that GeoShape using the command there. And there we just use a color map. We dig out the color map using that um, scheme of colors. And finally, we write the C map to file, a KML file. We name it as New England Peaks. And we specify the color, etc. And we clamp the ground. That's all done. When we did all that, we created the KML file. Double click it, it should open in Google Earth Pro. Close that. And there we are, there we have the the contours of you know, Vermont, New Hampshire, Northern Massachusetts, etc. Okay, so I hope that helps. Hope was interesting. Certainly was interesting for myself. And thanks very much for listening.